Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the second episode of Planet Base. I'm glad that you came to this. And, well, of course, you won't hear me saying this if you don't watch the video, so. Yeah. So, thank you for returning. So. And this episode of Planet Base, I'm just gonna try and stabilize my colony, get a few more of the buildings that you kind of need, and really kind of help with your colony. Because, um, I'm gonna like try and get a dorm and get my people doing what they need to do. So, he's all good. speed. Alright, so what do you got? I don't want. What do I got that I might not want? First, 248, 6 and 16, no. Um, well, I would buy something, but I don't. Sorry, I don't have anything to buy, so. Oh, anything that I could do. I just adjusted my. Macaphone, so I hope that sounds better than the beginning of this video. So thank you for returning, in case you couldn't hear. This is the second episode. So yeah, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and you're waiting. Come on, guys. Well, that explains that. <laughs> all my workers were in there. Because after all, um, I only have four workers. And the other one was MD Lou, which was in here retaining himself, raising his morale. Finally, you guys got around to building that dang pee pad. Only took an eternity, but. He built it. <laughs> Alright, so. Get on it, guys. Can't do this without you, yeah, workers. So. The more you guys work, the more cool stuff I can get for you. Ooh, there's two more workers. Yes! Ooh, sandstorm remnant. Imminent. Got a storm imminent. Well, I don't have a security center yet, so I can't tell my people what or what not to do. Guys, get over here before your integrity goes down. And your condition goes down as well. Calling a ship, are you gonna take off? Or is just gonna take you an age and a half? Each planet has one type of disaster, and this is the only type of disaster this place has. That's just at one particular time it takes up this much time space and can be helped. Ooh. Mm. Um, well that's okay because this doesn't need to do anything. Because this can just be turned off. And I mean, I don't care about that, but it's better to hit that than this. Because this will require a spare, I think. But this doesn't. It requires a long time to repair. So now that's up and working. These constructor bots, man. Oh, I was just on low speed. Oh, and now you need to off the constructor bot. Well, how's my base doing? <laughs> that says it's good. I'd agree. Help this poor dude before his condition goes all the way down. I don't know where these are getting all that water, but hey. I have this bot here that's not doing anything, but now he is, because he's 
Moving things from one spot to another spot. Power storage low, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, because I'm starting to have power issues. I need you guys to start doing that. Oh, you can't use the airlock. Aww. Well, let's go for this 80. But yeah, I'm gonna start getting absolute constant power alerts. Until I get this up and running. Come on, help the constructor bot. Alright, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And this is, um, integrity. Andy Lou, you are fantastic. Oh, wait, you're the engineer. Okay. That makes sense. I'm doing all those things. Yeah, you're an engineer. Well. I was confused why workers were doing that job. Hey, I have extra. I actually have extra bioplastic. I have nothing to spend it on. I have a lot of stuff to spend metal on. Not bioplastic, so. I guess for now. All this stuff is just gonna be carried away. So, I just needed to run the last episode for like five more minutes and it would have all gotten better. What's that? Trading ship. Ooh. Hold on, do you got goodies? And I have bioplastic to spend. I have coins to spend. I have this to spend and I could potentially spend this. I don't want to give out food. So, let's do this until it gets good. Like until it says it's okay. Jeez, that's... Really? Yeah, how'd you do that to me? No. Yeah, stupid commission. I hate commission. Um, I'm gonna keep this. That was kind of annoying to be here and there for a super long time. I like your kind of trader a lot. Well, my thing can get up all the way and it's not gonna last the entire night. So, guys, I still can do everything to get as much to get the last metal over here. Guys, 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 that's a priority. I guess you better get that trade done so I can just finish it. I mean, someone's working in the mine. Yay! I don't want to turn it off. I'm just about to, or maybe I'm not gonna run out of power because this is about to start producing some power. Power storage critical. Come on, produce power. <laughs> start it. No! I told you I would get that every night until this is built. Um, guys, bring this over there, and why is that not forge quality? Come on. Yes! I finally have a billion things of food! Ugh. I mean, like I didn't already, to be honest. Um, I'm kinda stacked up. But I'll just, you're fine. I don't lower priority in this room. Because that allows me to see what needs done. Oh boy, you better maintain that onion pad. Thank you so much. 
Bad plastic right now is more of a trading material. And I can use as much metal as you guys can crank out. As much as you can. Yay! Don't crush my food! Darn you! <sighs> So, guys, I hope the meal makers are all full. Oh, uh, yes, they are. Salad. I like seeing salads. Oh, alright. Nothing out here. This is stuff I have unlimited of, really. Raw materials. I don't care. I am swimming in them. Except for ore, but... Yeah, I got ore too. So, I got three things in here. Two things, three things that are being operated. And so, thing, that things are starting to turn up. So, one more medal. When will it be done? Now, thankfully. <laughs> oh yeah, but then you spend it to build that, but whatever. Like I care. <laughs> you wanna be able to build in time anyway. Alright. Oh, crap. Sorry. And those of you that can pause right at that moment, um, you can see what same games I have and request a tournament to play. That'd be great. Yay! It's about time. So, this varies. Right now it's producing absolute zero. God dang it. And it can produce up to 50. This can produce up to 80. I'd be saying, Hey, why did you build that? Because, well, I'm having issues with power. And this is cheaper, and it produces power during the night. And so, yeah. And, um, it can produce a medium amount of power. So it can... It pro at max, it can handle my entire colony right now. <laughs> Pretty much. A few of these things would turn off, but whatever. So, do I have a constant supply of ore? Oh, I see some ore in my storage. It's only 21% full. So, now that I only have one thing to build, I guess that's all good. Oh, come on, build the lab. One last stinking metal. Ooh, ooh, yes! It's done! <laughs> Oh, they already had another metal on the way, so. Alright, cool. I didn't notice that, and I doubt you guys did it either. Time to make it so victory meat isn't the most valuable thing in the history of ever. I'm gonna put down a workbench. That's all that the lab is for, but hey, it's all important stuff, right? And you have extra in there. That's amazing. What does that say my welfare is? Um, it's going great. So, um, I need more colonists. Come on, please. Please, would you raise that to excellent all the way up? I can handle up to 30 colonies before I need to build another building. I mean, already over here, um, it's starting to get a little low. And in the workplace, it's low. But, hey, whatever. Mm. 
medical trainer. You're expensive, so no. I'm going to add more buildings to my production chain after I get a dorm. What do I mean by more buildings in my production chain? Is... Oh crap, I don't want you. I mean, I want a dorm, I just want it to be large. But it is more expensive, and I just never get to build a smaller building. And then immediately it's got two of that. And there's metal. Plentiful. This is gonna be a quick build. So, F2, could you continue going up, Welfare? I call and he's running perfectly. I don't see any problems currently. So, could you go up? Hey, a worker. Apparently. Another one. Alright, I'm gonna. What? Biologists? 100%. So that I can keep everything in good maintenance. Because I don't see any problems with that yet, but I want to be able to, you know, be able to maintain these and have everything else doing okay. Make sure my chicken, alright, everything just, it all just produces chicken. I'm gonna make beef once this is done. Because it does keep track of that, and that'll give you more food variety, which is better. So, could you finish? Because then I'm gonna take it under the factory, gonna be full. And say, uh, produce beef. You got starch galore. Food in the plenties. Like, holy crap. It was just built! God dang it! It was just built! Well, there's a biologist, that's good. Oh, by the way, if you're curious, one of these equals a third of a biologist, just for those of you that want to know a lot. And then, I, in the last episode, told you about how these work. You know what my colony looks like, but I do this so I can see inside and see what my people are doing. And you know, it's not a good dorm in this game if you don't use all your space. I swear to god, I'm gonna get a security center. Soon. Soon. Alright. So now once people want to sleep, they come in here. You know, a minor design flaw? It goes through two of the most used buildings to get here. Sometimes people suffocate inside the dorm because there's too many people. Which is just bold because it's like having a party at your house and then everyone just suffocates. Cause dang, you don't have an oxygen thing that produces oxygen inside your house. Come on. Huh. So yeah, you can already see that it's going down because there's so many people in here. That's insane. Then he leaves. And it might start going up. Might. But during a windstorm, these operate at full capacity. So right now I'm only losing 8 power because I'm using 58 power. And that produces 50. So, it's all good. Those storms are good when they don't do bad things. 
And yeah, I have a winter run. Come on, I know these are forge quality. But don't let one of the most valuable things in the game just disintegrate. I think I got a supply of metal and stuff. Is everything full? More like nothing. Well, let's get a factory. Full size, that sucker. Since that's the only thing you'll be able to do. It's all good. And you guys are still pulling the vitro meat off of here. Really. That's beef, that's chicken. Yeah, alright. Don't try anything different. So you see my oxygen is going down in here. That's a slight problem, but everyone is sleeping. That makes them happier. So. I hope it's all good. It's got a crew over so that it can make room for the walls to curve up and over because the dome is very efficient. I'm trying to keep it as a dome. So, it's kind of going a little slow right now. For some reason, that just keeps on slowing down. So, I just speed it right back up. Um, electronics. Trailer bot, 200. Oh, this is valuable. You know how valuable it is? I'm gonna buy it from them. So, I gotta go and do a few things. The episode's not gonna be over, and so, yeah, I'll be back in just a moment. back. So, 
Hope it's all good. You guys hanging in here? It was like three minutes. But she loved you. That was quick. And thank you, right, you guys. Um. Crap. She calls his dad in the oxygen generator. Because it hit the oxygen generator while they were in there. Well, that sucks. I'm glad I came back to notice that instead of saying, wait, where did my colonists go? So, you exactly died. And worker, and biologist probably. Oh, very poor. Can see why you would say that. So, it's done yet? No. Where's all the bioplastic? Come on, guys. It is Keone. I was just accidentally doing some things that I didn't mean to do. I had my finger on the wrong keys. High priority. High priority. I have extra metal, that's unusual. So, guys, just work on the bioplastic processor for me, would ya? I'm gonna encourage growth there. Bioplastic processor built. And that's waiting construction. So, builder bot, where are you? I talked about. Oh, right there. Cool. Alright. And funny how I build this, it gets all filled up and then it starts just going down. It's also then easier for you to see what I've got. So. Plenty of stun to, uh, or ore to go around to everyone, rather, not stone. So, guys, um, I sound something's wrong here, but I don't know what exactly. Oh, so lucky. I'm so lucky my bot didn't get in there. Well, the factory's built. Alright, cool. Well, huh, it's just taking a really long time. Maybe because it's a large one. Alright, so, and here, Spares Workshop, Semiconductor Foundry. That's all I want for now. So I'm gonna continue climbing up the tech tree. Essentially, this is my tech tree, or tech wing, you could say. And, yeah. That's all good. A lot of them have glass, you can see what's going on, but then you can't click on the people. I press tab and I can click on the person. I can click on that, I'm like, when I have that, because that just happens. So I kind of have to play in this mode, because it gives me increased functionality. I don't want to build a medium one. There. Now 
have a little hold more. So, move that over there. Massive storage patent. What can I give him? I'm gonna give him as much as I can. 190. Um. How about I swap some of this stuff for the more valuable stuff? Um. No way in heck that's happening. Well, I think it's all gone fairly good. So yeah, I'm gonna head off and do some other things for just a moment. And so yeah, I will see all you guys in the next one.